Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ham Radio Dude. This is the Yezu FTDX10, and I got some questions on some of the forums I figured I would uh, try to answer or at least try to help out with. So some people wanted to see a couple of things, essentially. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but I did want to show you guys examples of what the monitor looks like hooked up to. Uh, I use a capture card, but it's, a, for all intents and purposes, an external display. I want to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about the mouse and the keyboard. And we're finally going to talk about memory card capacity size. Let's get started. This is Ham Radio Dude. And I just wanted to talk about a couple of things here. Uh, first off, I was able to find a external monitor and it's a three week old monitor. It's a 27 inch curved monitor. And so these two settings that you have 800 by 600 and 800 by 480, they're going to be completely different looking on this screen. Here's a good example. Right now I'm in 800 by 480 mode and the whole monitor is being filled up with information. If I go over to 800 by 600, you're going to see that the display stretches like a widescreen, but uh, you're missing like half the monitor. You're not using as much real estate as you could. Uh, it does take a moment to change in between the two settings, but ultimately I decide on 800 by 480. I did want to make a note too. I compared the external monitor to the Yesu radio as far as latency goes, and there appears to be no real latency or a very, very minimal amount of latency when it comes to the monitor being hooked up to the radio. So if you're looking at the water to fall display, it's going to be the same on the radio as it is the external monitor. Here I'm just playing with some of the settings, not necessarily the LED dimmer, but I was concentrating more on the response of the mouse. And for the mouse, I'm using a Logitech wireless M185 mouse, and it worked great. Plugged it right in, everything was good to go. So you'll see here with the mouse speed though, you can go from zero to about 20. And this is me kind of going fast right there, and you'll see it's, it's, uh, it's a little slow as it should be, right? And then 10 is a pretty good like in between, and 20 is uh, super fast. In fact, I, I think I'd go with settings like somewhere around 11, because I find that that's responsive enough for me, but not like overkill or not underkill. Uh, yeah, so I was pretty happy with uh, the way the mouse responds, and then I decided to hook up the keyboard, which is just a USB keyboard. Actually, I should also notice, too, I didn't notice any kind of RFI or anything along those lines with the mouse. I hook up the wireless keyboard, and I'm thinking right here I should be able to type in like a frequency, like 14.285, uh, and hit enter or type enter here, because, I mean, it's a keyboard. No. Unfortunately, unable to do it. Uh, I did try multiple keyboards and I had the same issue with multiple keyboards. So, you know, my perception was, is that maybe it should be able to be typable there, but it wasn't. Uh, I do want to make note though, with the mouse, I thought this was really cool. You know, you have the three settings on here. You have your fixed, you have your cursor and you have your center. I usually love center, but when I got a mouse on here, I found that either fixed or cursor was kind of the cool setting to have. I think I ended up maybe sticking ultimately with with cursor uh you could see here it's in center but i think ultimately i decide on cursor and i i just think it's really cool you use your mouse and you can basically click on any frequency and, and go there uh kind of like when you're using the touch screen and you go to touch on the on the actual tft display itself now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to test sd cards because somebody wrote that they were having problems with 32 gigabyte cards i wanted to make sure it worked so i plugged in a 32 gigabyte card and i hit format now the format process did take a while, so I'll skip over this here. But the formatting is now complete. And so I go ahead and I'm just going to make sure that it shows most of the memory card. And it, it does in, under informations, uh, free space, 29.8 gigabytes. And that's pretty consistent with everything that I've seen with this memory card on things like my camera and so forth. Okay. So, you know, I'm just kind of playing around at this point, tested the formatting of the memory cards. I've tested it with a PNY 32 gigabyte card and I tested it with a uh, a micro SD card actually that used a little converter. It was a SanDisk Ultra. Both are class 10 cards. Yeah, and so in the future I could maybe try it with something else. Now you're gonna see here my actual speed of me typing with the keyboard and I'm a fast typer normally. So this was extremely difficult for me to slow down this much and I am trying to, yeah, you'll see I have to backspace but type fast. 
and this is about as fast as I can type. Every now and then it'll pick up maybe triple Fs pretty quick, for example. There you go. That was kind of quick. Uh, but overall, I feel like the keyboard was very unresponsive. And uh, I guess people might argue you don't need it to be very responsive, but and then in the same sense, I'd probably argue that I'd like it to be more responsive. And, uh, you know, when you're trying to type fast and it's not picking up on it, it'll miss letters, it'll skip letters. Kind of, uh, kind of something I feel like could be improved on. So anyway, that was pretty much it as far as everything goes. Uh, really briefly went over the monitor display and kind of like how it operates and looks. Talked about the mouse and showed you how you could adjust the mouse settings and everything, but the mouse is really cool. I do appreciate that. And then I will show you the keyboard just a little bit. I don't have a external, or excuse me, a wireless keyboard to test with right now, but I'll go pick one up here and I'll test with the wireless keyboard to see how those things work as well. These were just some requests of things I saw online that people had asked to be shown. And so that's what I did. I appreciate you checking out the channel. If you would consider subscribing to my channel, if you like the content, or if you might want to see more in the future, I would appreciate it. But until next time, I'm Ham Radio, dude. Thank you, 73.